Welcome to the J. Scott Outdoors podcast. Today we have a cool episode with Chris Gardner, the National Sales Manager for Global Star. And I've been using the Global Star uh, sat phone since September and the spot device since September and have been uh, very excited with the performance of these uh, devices. And I'm excited to talk to Chris today about Global Star and Spot and all the different uh, things that they've got going on. Chris, how you doing? Doing good, Jay. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. It's uh, going to be fun to talk to you here. Uh, Chris, uh, first, uh, let me ask you about your role at Global Star and uh, maybe give me a little introduction and bio as to uh, where you're at now and, and how you got to be the national sales manager for Global Star. Yeah, so I've, I've been uh, in the communications business for uh, 17, 18 years, something like that, uh, just selling a lot of different uh, type uh, applications of the business and uh, just recently came on with Global Star about nine months ago. Um, I had a relationship in the business um, with one of their leaders and um, this this role in particular was uh, a role that uh, they were looking at uh, kind of creating. It was existing, but just a long term of um, a different strategy with the business. Um, you know, with me wanting to get back into the uh, wireless uh, business and didn't really know if I wanted to get back into the actual true wireless piece, um, this opportunity came up and um, worked out a, a nice fit and uh, here I am. So definitely excited to be on with uh, with Global Star. Awesome. And Chris, I understand you're a hunter and fisherman as well. Uh, would you say you're more a fisherman or more a hunter, or you do both equally? <laughs> I, I would say probably more hunting. Um, you know, definitely grew up doing both uh, all my life as a young kid in South Louisiana. Uh, but uh, definitely. Um, more to the hunting side of it, but we do do a lot of fishing uh, out of Venice, Louisiana, um, you know, both inland and uh, and offshore, um, so just enjoy really the outdoors in general. Great. What are you hunting primarily down there in Louisiana? Is it uh, <laughs> duck, d ducks and deer and turkey, or what are you hunting? Yeah, yeah, pretty, all of the above, you know, we have uh, hogs out there as well, you know, so, uh, you know, Kind of, kind of whatever's out there and in the moment, you know, depending on on, on what we uh, what we feel like doing. So, absolutely. Well, that's cool. Well, I yeah. think the best thing is to start out and and ask, you know, who is Global Star and what is Global Star for those people out there that aren't familiar with Global Star. Yeah. So we provide affordable and and reliable mobile service, mobile and uh, voice and data communications. Basically, we'll cellular. Um, can't go. Um, we also rely on, you know, superior satellite network and um, an excellent team of uh, strong team members around the world to deliver quality products and services, and more importantly, just peace of mind. Yeah, absolutely. And is Global Star uh, uh, all over the world? Do you have offices all over the world, or where is the main headquarters? Yeah, we're headquartered out of Covington, Louisiana, uh, and we do have real estate all over um, the globe uh, and growing at the present. So a lot of good things happening. Nice. I'd like to ask you um, about your products and services that you mentioned and uh, maybe walk me through uh, each product and, and service, uh, if you will, uh, so that our listeners are aware. And, and I'd also like to say, uh, I have been a brand ambassador for Global Star since September and have been using the GSP 1700 uh, sat phone uh, exclusively and the uh, spot device and um, have been very impressed with the quality of service and uh, the different features. Uh, but I'd like to ask you specifically about uh, the products and services you guys provide. Sure. So, as you mentioned, you know, the GSP 1700, you know, that's been definitely a focus on the Global Star side. That's our small, uh, you know, mobile device that's compact, stored in a backpack, 
Um, you know, whatever you need to do, fix mount kind of, we've got accessories around that piece. Um, we also have the fixed unit, uh, which is a 2900. Um, another um, device that we have is a SAT5, which is where you can connect your smartphone. Uh, you Wi-Fi the device together. What I like about that device is just that you have all your contacts, um, you know, anything you need right there in your smartphone and kind of trans, uh, transforms that device into a, sat uh, a satellite phone. Um, and then and, moving on, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, question about that. So um, can you be on the move and use that device or does it work just pretty much like the sat phone? I mean, I know I have the car kit as well, as well where I can be on the move and on my sat phone just like it's my cell phone. But right. you're talking about a, a, a plug-in that basically you're, you use your cell phone just like normal? Yeah, you would. And so um, the actual sat phone unit is a fixed mount, right? So um, it just pairs with that device. So I would say within 30 feet of that device, maybe a little bit more, the rough estimate, you have to be um, from it for it to work. Um, okay. But it does give you the ability to take it on the run with you, right? And, you know, some applications that we've had, we've got them wired in boats. We've got them, we use them in uh, different government capacities and, you know, um, you know, to where you could take the unit, bring it in your car, uh, or bring it back and fix it in a building, right? But it still works in conjunction with your smartphone. Okay, okay, interesting. Um, what about some of the other products? Yeah, so uh, we have the 9600, which is like a data um, pop, so to speak, right? So same kind kind of deal, works with the 1700, can plug in uh, via data cable. So you can have the 1700 and the use of the data. Um, and then moving on to the spot brand, we obviously have the Gen 3 um, that uh, is just such a unique device, uh, so affordable um, you know, but allows you to communicate back with friends, family, track your position, um, and SOS functionality. And then you have the trace unit, right, which is um, what we're seeing is just, I think, as we bring more awareness to that particular product, um, just we're seeing tremendous amount of growth with that. Um, you know, for the affordability of it and just what it gives you, um, it's, just a, it's just a great product for tracking assets. So, in other words, people can put them on their boats and put them on their, you know, their their ATVs or their cars and uh, have a constant uh, tracking ability on that on that vehicle. That's exactly correct. Um, and it's interesting because we we continue outside of, you know, those types of applications to figure out new new <laughs> newer applications for it. So it's you know what we're seeing across the U.S. Obviously, Jen three on the spot side has been such a great product for us and, and just continuing to grow. Um, but we're also seeing the evolution of the trace unit continuing to catch up, right, and grow right alongside of it where, you know, just a few months ago or about a year ago, it wasn't like that, right? So um, we're just seeing a lot, of, a lot of good things coming from that unit. Specifically talking about the, the Gen 3, um, you know, I've been using it on most all of my hunts. It's always in my backpack, and it's nice to be able to send a message back home, uh, and my wife can see that everything's, you know, going along fine. Um, who do you see as your main users for that product? Um, you know, pretty much anybody who, um, I mean, is just outdoors, right? I mean, I do the same thing um, when we're offshore. We use it. I mean, if I'm backpacking or hunting in New Mexico or, shoot, I have you know, my backpacks here in Louisiana, you just never know. Um, and it's just really for me, if I'm just kind of, you know, talking about the, you know, for myself, um, just an insurance policy, right? I mean, it's just for the money, it's a no-brainer. And I can tell you before, you know, coming on with Global Star, I was not aware of it, um, but clearly have taken it on numerous trips since my start. Um, and, and I can't even imagine not having that with me. Um, again, I think it's more just an insurance policy um, and it just should ensure my safety. And especially, you know, knowing that you have 
you know, wife and kids and family is so important, right? Um, so having something like that is just, I think, just critical. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, one of the things I, I see that's interesting is, you know, being a brand ambassador uh, is going on the brand ambassadors page. And I would encourage the listeners to uh, go to uh, findmespot.com forward slash brand ambassadors. And you can actually see all the different uh, people from you know, fly fishing guides to downhill skiers to mountain climbers to archaeologists to adventurers. Um, you've got motorcycle enthusiasts. You've got, you know, airplane uh, people that fly all over the world, uh, kayakers. Uh, you've got Carter Andrews here, um, who, who's a expert fisherman. Uh, you know, people that are doing Everest, uh, you know, air racing, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, the application uh, for all of your products is pretty amazing. And you can actually go on here and see who's using the product and what application applications they're using it for. Yeah, that's right. A lot uh, of different what, things, you know, for sure. For sure. Um, what, what separates Global Star from the competition in your mind? You know, as I look forward, um, and, and kind of look at where we're, we're posturing in the market. I mean, clearly, you know, having our second generation satellites, um, up, you know, in the sky, ready to go. Um, the affordability of the product, I think, is key. I think we're priced, um, you know, just right. There's always a lot of thought. There's always a lot of research that goes into that. Um, we want to, we want to stay consistent. Um, and continue to be competitive, right? And um, we we want people to use the products, right? I mean, um, we all use them here. You know, I can tell you, uh, as I look internal into the business, we all use them every day um, when we're out and about, and there's a lot of traveling going on here. And I think also, you know, just the personal attention that uh, the business brings to the marketplace. Um, there's a lot of hands-on support. We're very involved uh, in the business. May it be inside our dealers or, you know, uh, to the direct con consumer uh, out in the field. We want to know how the product's working, how it's performing, um, you know, and how can we improve. So there's just a lot of focus uh, around that. So I think, you know, to sum that up, I think, you know, in my opinion, there's, you know, sometimes um, in, in the world today just not that intent focus on that. And I can tell you that, um, we want to grow this business, and we want to grow it the right way. Um, and, again, we want to, you know, be knowledgeable about what the trends are in the business, and that's what we're doing. I think just that personal attention is really, you know, a game changer. I want to ask you specifically, uh, probably 10, 12 years ago, uh, I had a Global Star GSP sat phone, a, a 1700 and uh, used it for a couple years and everything was great and then uh, a, as time kind of went on I got a lot of dropped calls and the service wasn't as good and uh, honestly I just uh, stopped uh, my monthly plan and and uh, basically stopped using uh, my satellite phone and uh, I had heard that you know, a bunch of time went by, but that actually Global Star had invested uh, close to a billion dollars in the new satellites uh, and the new technology. Uh, I, I know you probably have some users out there that, uh, you know, used Global Star and then had the service, uh, you know, decline. I'd uh, like to ask you to speak to that and tell me where, where the company's at now and the quality of service uh, compared to, uh, you know, say 10 or 12 years ago? Yeah, so, you know, what I can say is, you know, we're back, right? I mean, there's, there's uh, you know, obviously a big focus on, you know, our core network and uh, improvements into our ground stations, um, and that's going to be a continued focus. I mean, I could see it here. Um, there's a lot of discussion um, and action being taken on those things. Um, you know, in conjunction with our business plan and making sure that we're executing and getting out there, uh, like I've mentioned earlier um, in your earlier questions about being involved, right? So, 
Um, I know, you know, the competitors out there, um, you know, definitely are not investing in, uh, in their networks like we are. Um, and I just think that that shows our level of commitment. Um, and I know that we've got some other good things that are going to be coming out uh, in the near future. Uh, and obviously another piece is just really, you know, our faster data speeds um, that we have in there as well. So, um, you know, I think with those improvements on the, the network with uh, clear voice and, you know, no latency and faster data speeds, I think we're definitely postured for success in the future. Absolutely. Um, let's take a quick break here uh, to hear from our sponsors. GoHunt.com Insider is by far the most valuable tool a Western hunter could give themselves. They are the industry leader and number one source for Western hunting information for a lot of reasons. They have changed the game for how hunts and hunting information is found. Within a matter of minutes using filtering 2.0, you'll be able to filter by state, species, residency, odds of drawing a tag, specific hunting dates, harvest success percentages, to find the hunts that fit exactly what you're looking for. As an exclusive offer to the J. Scott Outdoors podcast listeners, if you sign up for a GoHunt.com Insider membership and use the J. Scott promo code at checkout, you'll receive a $50 Kuyu gift card or a choice of a $50 Sportsman's Warehouse gift card. Head on over to GoHunt.com Insider, click on the blue Join Now button, and get yourself the most valuable membership a hunter can have. I have known the owners of the Outdoorsmen in Phoenix for over 20 years. They are the authority on optics and hunting gear. Outdoorsmen is the leading designer and manufacturer of high-quality tripods, mounting accessories, and pack systems for all hunters. Their customer service is the best in the business. Go to Outdoorsmans.com or call 1-800-291-8065 and use the J. Scott promo code to receive 10% off any products. Okay, Chris, uh, I want to uh, talk to you about this GSP-1700 and it's uh, the different features. Uh, you, you have voicemail. Um, tell me a little bit about the phone. Um, the size of the phone and some of the different features specifically with the phone. So, Chris, can you specifically go through the spot? Excuse me. Start over. Okay. So, Chris, can you can you go over the Global Star GSP 1700 phone and some of the capabilities of the phone and some of the accessories? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, a big win for the device is it's it's compact, it's mobile. Um, you know, um, we have uh, voicemail on it, you know, obviously 911 emergency, um, you know, it's lightweight. Um, the battery power on that, on the device is uh, right around four hours. So, uh, you know, definitely plenty of talk time there. Um, some different accessories that we have, obviously, is the data kit. I'd mentioned that earlier, cable. Um, that that uh, is out there. Also, uh, something that I really like is the, uh, you know, the hands-free kit. Um, you know, some folks are, you know, obviously installing that in the in their boats, uh, vehicles, um, wh whatever you can put it on. But it clicks in, clicks out, take it on the run with you. Um, just a really great device uh, to have when you're on the go, um, and or in your vehicle. Yeah, for sure. Um, I have a, a a car kit where I just uh, can be talking on my satellite phone on the move, which uh, prior to having that, you know, uh, normally you kind of have to st stay in one spot. And um, and that's what I've found is be kind of stationary to, you know, have the best service. But since I've been using uh, the, the, the car kit, basically I just I'm driving and talking on my phone and I do a lot of traveling in Mexico and a lot of hunting down there, and it's nice to be able to just uh, be on the move and, and still be able to uh, talk on the phone and communicate uh, between hunts and stuff. So that's that's been a cool feature uh, for me. Uh, I want to talk. I want to kind of shift focus here and talk about uh, the Spot Gen 3 and uh, talk about the the SOS function and uh, some of the different features of 
of the Gen 3 as well for those people out there that don't know about it? Yeah, so uh, obviously it's a, uh, you know, ruggedized device. Um, it's got, uh, you know, app that, uh, you know, obviously you can see on your smartphone for tracking um, purposes. Um, you know, preload three different messages on there um, that uh, goes back to the device, right? So um, basically when you're outdoors, you got three different ways that you can communicate. Um, you know, for example, you reach base camp, um, you hit one of the buttons, communicates back to all the folks that you have preloaded uh, on your app, um, and it lets them know that you got there. Um, or whatever you choose to kind of preload into the unit. Um, obviously, we have the SOS functionality um, that, you know, if that's pressed, goes back to uh, a third party that we have, GEOS, um, which sends in um, whatever emergency help that's closest to, um, you know, the party, um, and it gives, it dials down to the exact coordinates, um, you know, of where you're at, which, you know, there's not many devices out there that, uh, you know, for the affordability and, um, you know, just everything that it offers um, that's out there. And uh, the device is uh, waterproof, um, and, you know, you can clip it onto your backpack or you can you know, clip it onto your belt. Um, I, I think it's pretty unique in the fact that it's very small. Uh, but one of the things my wife really likes about it is she, she likes the fact that, you know, I'll be up glassing up on a ridge line in the middle of nowhere and send her a message, you know, everything's great, honey. Um, you know, with the, you know, she knows that that means everything's fine. And then she can uh, actually see my location in the email that it sends her she actually can see my location on uh, a, a Google Earth, or excuse me, Google, I guess it would be Google Maps. And um, so a lot of times she, I'll come back home and she'll be like, wow, you were way up on the top of that mountain. Or, you know, she'll, she'll look at the actual, you know, topography of where I was and kind of smile and chuckle and say, you better not fall <laughs> off of there. That's it, man. That's it. And, I mean, I think that, you know, one of the really neat things is it's so easy to use. You know, it's just uh, a very sim simplistic device, which is uh, something that I really like about it, <laughs> for sure, you know. Yeah. What kind of battery life um, are, are you guys um, seeing with your Spot Gen 3s? Um, I've been impressed with the battery life on mine. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the way that I kind of look at it is just the pings. Um, and I know that we're looking at about 1,200 to 1,400 pings, depending on how you have it set, right? So the more aggressive setting uh, may get a little bit less, where if you have it, you know, set five, ten-minute intervals, obviously it'll last longer. Um, you know, when you do stop, um, it will go dormant after a certain time, so that helps to conserve on your battery life as well. For sure. Um, tell me about, so we've talked about the Spot Trace, we've talked about the Spot Gen 3, and we've talked about the Global Star, the GSP uh, sat phone. Uh, what other products uh, are out there that you guys offer? So uh, we have the uh, 9600, um, which is just like a data um like a MiFi kind of scenario um, where, you know, it's just obviously just offering data. Um, so that can, you know, tether to your 1700 um, and work something like uh, the SatFi unit. Um, so you've got your handheld for your voice and on the move, right? So it's a little bit different with being on the move, but um, it integrates with that data so you could be out, you know, off the grid. And you mentioned on the top of a ridge top or whatever you want to do, and sending uh, whatever data transaction that you'd like to send, small amount of email or, um, you know, just a more mobile-type device. Interesting. Um, are your devices, um, Does do you guys have military contracts for some of your sat phone and some of the spot technology? Um, we are working with uh, a few agencies at the present. Um, we, that is a focus for us this year, um, to key into more of, uh, the federal, state, and local business, 
um, and that's on both sides. We do have customers um, that are in those those demographics as well, but that's definitely a focus for us for this year. Gotcha. And let's talk about um, how the progression of either the sat phones or the spot devices, let's talk about the progression of how those, you know, how they've gotten better with time. Okay. So, uh, you know, I guess going back to, you know, what I had mentioned earlier, you know, and just picking up, you know, on the gen, we've had three obviously generations uh, of the spot and uh, possibly more to come. Um, but, uh, you know, with each device, obviously I'd mentioned that we're very involved. We're users ourselves. Um, you know, we're continuing to constantly talk and, you know, talk to guys like you that use it all the time, solicit that feedback, uh, and integrate those uh, functionalities into the device. So um, that's, that's kind of what we've been doing, you know. Um, obviously on the Global Star side for us, um, same, same kind of concept has been in play. Um, you know, and we, I think, I think everybody will, will see with, uh, the, the next, uh, things that we've got coming out that, uh, we, we've definitely listened. Good, good. Uh, it, you know, according to the website, uh, there's been 4,227 rescues and counting, uh, using the device. Can you elaborate a little bit on uh, some of those stories? Um, have, have you heard some of the stories of, of some of the rescues and some of the people that have used the device that have been in a really bad spot and, and you know, needed help? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I hear a lot of stories all the time, right? Because right outside of my office is where they come in. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's motivating from the perspective of it's such a neat thing to hear that, you know, our device that we work with every day has just been such a huge impact on the market. But just to name a few, um, you know, for two hunters were seriously injured uh, after being attacked by a grizzly bear um, in British Columbia. Um, you know, the device obviously, you know, saved uh, those two folks. Um, another one would be, a, you know, a crew of four rescued uh, off of a sailboat um, that was taking on water off the coast of uh, the Carolinas. Uh, and we actually had one of those guys uh, with us at a boat show uh, and was able to hear his story, and it's it's amazing. I mean, it really is. Um, when you hear it from his perspective, you know, and they're out in the middle of the, you know, nowhere, not knowing if they're going to make it off, and, you know, something as small as what we've got saved their life. It's just, it's amazing. Um, another one, um, a hiker was rescued from California during a wildfire. Um, four day solo hike, you know, just opposite ends of the earth, right? But uh, we hear those stories all the time, and it's it's just a really neat thing to be a part of. Absolutely, um, yeah. I mean, you never know when you're going to be in a really bad spot, and and by having that SOS function, where you know, in other words, you know, the, the they're coming for you, is uh, you know. It's it's an insurance policy, it, you know, for, for your family and for yourself that you know that if you get in one of those situations, you have the ability to communicate with the outside world, and I think that's super important. Absolutely. No question. Let's take another quick break here. PhoneScope is a company that makes custom-molded, precisely engineered smartphone digiscoping adapters. Photographing wildlife has never been easier. It is simple to text photos and videos from your smartphone and share them with your friends. PhoneScope stands behind their product with a 100% money-back guarantee. Get yours now by using the JSCOT16 promo code and receive 10% discount on all purchases. Check them out at Phonescope, that's P-H-O-N-E-S-K-O-P-E dot com, or on Instagram, at Phonescope. Real game calls featuring the elk reel.
Real Game Calls makes innovative, realistic, and easy-to-master calls using their proprietary, revolutionary design. They are located and manufactured in Gypsum, Colorado. Their calls were designed and battle-tested on some of the hardest hunted terrain on Earth. Check out ElkReel.com. Use the promo code JSCOTT and receive a 20% discount on all purchases. Go to www.ElkReel.com. Chris, I want to ask you about uh, the different pricing plans uh, and monthly plans and such uh, with the different products. I was wondering if you could go over that a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So, so uh, with the Gen Three, our prices uh, are at one fifty a year. Um, you know, and and uh, also with the Trace plans, a hundred. Um, we're constantly looking to to, to put promos out and different things and um so just continue to follow us um because we're always you know putting um some sort of a you know promo out there because again we want you guys to buy and use the product and continue to evolve what we're trying to do so just continue to follow us at findmespot.com um, yeah it's a, great, it's a great website um actually pretty interactive website i i enjoy going on there for sure Great, and then you know on the on the voice side for us on the GSP seventeen hundred, our rate plan start as low as forty dollars a month. Currently, we've got a free phone promotion uh, out there with sixty five dollar plan or better. Um, we're offering a free sat phone, um, which is a killer deal, um, and we'll continue to run that. And uh, again, if you'd uh, like to follow us, um, that's on globalstar.com forward slash what matters. Okay, so tell me about that plan. You just just uh, elaborate a little bit more. I I understand sure. sixty five dollars a month and you get a free phone. Yep, that's it. Yep, it's an outstanding deal. The phone itself is a five hundred dollar uh, phone, um, and again, we're looking sixty five dollar plan. Um, that's monthly. Um, you know, we're offering a free phone, free sat phone, GSP seventeen hundred. With that plan, uh, how many minutes does that include, or, or how does it work from there? Yeah, so so uh, the $65 plan is a starting point for the free phone. Um, obviously, the phone's valued at $500, um, and you get 100 minutes uh, of service with that. Um, and then also, really, what I think is the better, better of the plans, obviously, we have a lot of different uh, plans to suit your needs, but our unlimited plan is $150 a month, um, and obviously all you can eat, use it anytime you want, you know, type plan. So um, I, my thought is, you know, that compared to, to any other, you know, wireless carrier, et cetera, is a, is a killer plan with a free device. Uh, and, again, it's just uh, peace of mind and backup to, to anything that uh, you would look to do. Absolutely. And uh, for those listening, you can go on the website, um, either findmespot.com or is it globalstar.com, uh, Chris? Correct. Forward slash what matters. And um, you can go on here and see the different rates and um, see the different plans and what might work best for you. And uh uh, Global Star is offering a promo code uh, option. Get your first month of service free on the GSP 1700 uh, when you call 844-800-4988 and mention the promo code J. Scott. So for those of you listening, if you want to uh, get get set up and talk to someone more about uh, the different devices that we've talked about today, uh, you can call Again, the number is 844-800-4988 and mention the promo code J. Scott. Uh, Chris, uh, it's been great having you on today. Um, are there any uh, parting thoughts that you'd like to talk about that we didn't cover today? Yeah, I mean, just one, one thing. I want to make sure that, that everybody continues to follow us. We've got uh, some new stuff coming in the future that I can't really mention, but uh, – Definitely think they're going to be game changers in the future and uh, want to make sure that everybody continues to follow us. And we're very excited and uh, looking forward to uh, more to come.
So thanks, Jay, for having me. For sure. And you guys can be found on um, social media as well. Um, can you tell me the best uh, places for people to follow your you guys' progress? <laughs> Hang on. Splice. <laughs> oh my God. We almost had it, Jay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just go, just go ahead and go into it. I'll splice it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Okay, great. Well, um, that's awesome. I think uh, I've really enjoyed using uh, the products uh, and services there with Global Star and with Spot, and I look forward to hearing about uh, some of the new things that are coming up and um, I know I follow you guys on Instagram and, uh, there's a lot of really cool pictures from your different ambassadors and, uh, it was great having you on the podcast today and, uh, you know, good luck. Do you got any, any specific, uh, fishing trips or anything coming up? Oh, uh, we always do, man. We always do. We're about to get cranked up and, uh, head out. I know a few of my, my buddies wanted to go last week. They've been, uh, the tuna, the tuna are hitting hard right now out there, so uh, I'm sure that we'll have a trip coming up here uh, in the near future. That's awesome. Well, buddy, um, thanks for spending time with us here, and uh, uh, God bless you, and uh, uh, good luck with this uh, upcoming uh, season that you guys have. Thanks, Jay. You too. All right. Take care.